Steffi and welcome back to my channel. As you can probably tell, today is going to be an empty house tour. We started this whole process back in February. It is now September 20th and we have closed on the house and we feel so blessed and we are so thankful for just the ability to have such a beautiful home. I was actually going to film this like intro piece outside but this is a new development, so there are still a lot of other houses being built. We just got the keys, and there's like nothing in the house, no furniture, so super echoey, but we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the video. Welcome to our new home. open just floor plan on the first floor. I like how this one is a little bit broken up but still quite open. So as you first walk into the house you have this really pretty just long hallway that goes into my office, powder room, stairs that go upstairs and then also over onto this side we have the laundry room and garage access. So we're going to go first into my office. Love the French doors here and open up into the office. So I love the super high ceilings. I don't think you guys can really see. Our entire first floor is 10 feet ceiling. I am 5'1", so I just love how like, dramatic and huge everything is. I keep looking up, so <laughs> my next one gets getting over time. Hopefully I'll get used to it eventually. We're gonna be changing out the light bulbs here as we move in. Right now, they're not the bright white light that we normally like. We like more daylight. I have my favorite flooring all throughout the living spaces of the bottom floor. 
So this is Marazzi Tile. It's part of their Knoxwood collection and the color is Caraway. Something else you'll see throughout the house is the trim. So on the first floor, you're going to see the thicker baseboards. I think they're about six inch baseboards, something of that nature, but there are the thicker kind here. Also very just straight, modern. We were so picky and needed to have this modern, clean kind of baseboard, so um, definitely upgraded there. We love the trim on the top of the doors as well. You'll see that throughout the house, and then also the doors we are just obsessed with. We had to have this particular door, and as you can see, so on the bottom floor, I'm really sure <laughs> there is a closet down here in this office. So you can see lots and lots of storage. <laughs> so exciting. I'm so excited about that. Right next to the office, as you go further down the hallway, we have our powder room in here. The cabinets are the same color as what we have in the kitchen. They are a shaker cell cabinet, very clean lines. I didn't want any intricate little designs in there. Countertops are a cultured marble. I have a really weird thing about sinks. I don't like it when there's like a lip on the sink, which is in our kitchen, but every other sink itself is just flush and kind of inlaid into the countertop. I love that, it makes it more streamlined and I'm not freaked out with like an under lip of the countertop. I don't know what it is about the sink countertop where they meet. I don't know why it bothers me so much, but I love that they have that option. So we were able to pick that in our showroom appointments in the design center. We'll go upstairs a little bit later on, but the stain on our door and on our staircase railing is called the ebony and um, they didn't have any other options other than this iron so I would have preferred not to have these kind of swirly globe things but that's fine. Through this archway you have access to the garage and then also into our laundry room. In our old house our laundry room and our pantry it was huge but they were together. I like that there's a more designated spot so this is just the laundry room probably where I'll keep like some cleaning supplies and stuff like that and then our pantry for food is in the kitchen where it's supposed to be so I really like having that kind of segregation of space. This design and kind of just like openness of the living room and then it flowing into the kitchen completely sold us on this house very tall ceilings we plan on getting a statement light fixture to go at the very top i haven't figured out what that statement light piece is just yet so right now we're just keeping the nipple flush mount there for now um, and then we will switch that out once we figure out exactly what lighting picture we want to have there. We didn't have a fireplace in our old house. It is gas run and it is um, on a switch. So you just flip the switch and then it'll turn on. Kind of the feel that I'm going for in this house is more of like a cozy modern huga <laughs> right here. That's kind of the look and the feel that I'm going for. I want to feel like cozy, comfortable, but still the space looks great and modern. We picked quartz countertops. So these ones have kind of like a gray glass pebbling in them. So we chose that over the quartz that has kind of a marble look to it. As much as I loved it, my husband and I, we are mixing both of our styles in this house. I also love this particular countertop and he loved it as well. So we stuck with that. It also feels a little bit more like able to be lived in. Um, it's not as I guess formal or as upscale of a feeling, I guess. It's hard to explain. I just wanted to feel like, you know, I could use and live in my house without feeling like I didn't want to get anything dirty, even though I don't want to get anything dirty. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? I don't know if I'm making any sense. Anyways, um, I would have loved that, but we chose this particular countertop instead. Also, it was a few thousand dollars cheaper too, so. Um, that's also a win there. The cabinets are again that North Sea shaker style cabinet. I believe North Sea is the color. I think it's a Sherman Williams color, but don't quote me on that. But that's what the color is. Medium gray. It pulls a little on, more on the blue side. Depending on the lighting, it's going to look a little bit different. So originally when we went to the model home, they had this dove gray cabinets, which I loved. But their flooring was brown. And we knew we wanted to have this flooring because we had that in our old house. And when I looked at it at the showroom during our first appointment, it was just like one big blob of gray. So I needed some contrast. So I kept telling my husband, I was like, we need contrast, we need contrast. 
So we chose these and said, I'm so glad they had that option. And I think it turned out like perfectly, exactly what we're wanting. So we are planning on putting matte black cabinet poles on all of the cabinets. Our current appliances and faucet are the fingerprint resistant stainless steel, which of course we love, but the fridge that we chose because it wasn't through our builder, it's a black stainless steel. So I wanted to incorporate touches of black to tie in the fridge because I feel like it's just gonna kind of stand out by itself. Our sink, oh my God, I, I think I'm just excited about every single freaking thing about this kitchen. Our sink is just a very nice, big, large sink no divider in the middle it's a milled granite material which we had in our last house but we had a divider in the middle of it we love that this one is just nice big open i'm so excited to wash dishes in it <laughs> i'm never leaving my house during my free time y'all also it's in the island so i can be facing towards the tv or when people are over i can still you know hang out with them while I'm doing stuff in the kitchen. Mike loved that pantry door. He saw it at the model home and he had to have that kind of like stained glass effect. So we got that. We are planning on changing out all the light fixtures. So the pendant lighting, probably gonna get something black and more like of an exposed light bulb look. So I'm looking for something like that. I would have loved to be able to have one of those ovens um, that's in the wall in the microwave that's like underneath somewhere and then have, have a cool hood That wasn't an option for us with our builder. Maybe we'll do it eventually, but not a big deal But what I am excited about is that our microwave It's also a hood of some sorts It also will be taking any of the hot air and stuff like that And there is a vent that goes to the outside whereas in our old house It just circulated in the house backsplash. So this is just a bright white subway tile I've never had before in a previous home. So it's just a cool feature to have now as well. I really love it too. I just love the gray and white palette throughout the house, especially in the kitchen. I don't know, it kind of just gives me the sense of peacefulness and tranquility and that is the vibe that I'm going for in our home. Also, I love that there's like a dedicated little spot for my coffee station, for my Nespresso machine and all the other jazz. We don't have a formal dining room, which I'm 100% fine with. Our dining room at our old house, we only use it during holidays. Felt like it was wasted space. Also, as you can see, our island is humongous. So um, plenty of seating when we have family over. So this dining nook, what I had originally envisioned was a circular table. I wanted to get like a tabletop that looked like marble in this space. And I just have not had any luck finding the right one for a price that I'm willing to pay. Gorgeous box window here in the dining nook. So excited about it, so pretty. And that really completes our downstairs living area. So now we're gonna go into the master bedroom, which is now on the first floor, which is one of the main things as well as why we were wanting to get a new house is because I want a master on the first floor because we're thinking about having babies and um, your girl just is a stressor. And I was like, how am I gonna have a baby? What if I have a C-section and I have a master on the second floor? Anyways, I was stressing. We didn't have like a full bathroom down on the first floor either. And hey, you know what? This was the option, so why not? New house. This is definitely like our oasis. Go through the archway and it's kind of tucked away at the back of the house, which I love. As you walk in, first thing you're gonna notice obviously is the beautiful carpeting. This is the same carpeting that we chose for the upstairs as well. We did upgrade to a thicker pad. If you're able to do that, I would definitely suggest it because it makes it a little bit more cozy and comfy. Option to put a door that goes to our patio also in the master. So of course we took that option, just kind of cool. And then, so it gives us a couple of different ways to get Juicy to go potty. Beautiful tray ceiling. So as I said, our ceilings are already 10 feet high and the tray ceiling makes it probably another foot higher. And it's just beautiful. It's just another beautiful detail. We're gonna be putting a huge ass fan up here. We already have recessed can lighting. So we're just gonna be putting a fan up there because we do like to be cool when we sleep at night. It's just a beautiful large space. It's not ridiculously oversized, kind of like our first master bedroom where we felt like there was space that was being just wasted basically, but we feel like it's big enough for exactly what we need. We are now in my master bathroom and this, mm, I can't even, 
I just need to stop saying this is like my favorite thing because everything's obviously my favorite, otherwise we wouldn't have bought this house, right? The countertops are the same as in the powder bathroom. It's that beautiful cultured marble with the sink that is just flush with the countertops. We do have the double sinks. When I have a happy marriage, make sure you have your own sink and your own sink space, okay? One thing that I do miss from our last um, house had separate, like actual separate vanity areas. Uh, so now we get to be a little bit more cozy with one another, but still there's plenty of space for us to spread out. As you can see, like, there's like a lot of space, you know? The flooring is a gorgeous ceramic tile, also from Marazzi. I forgot the name of it exactly, but I'll have everything listed in the description box for y'all. Separate shower, which is quite large by itself, so that's awesome, and then also a nice big soaking tub, which I'm so freaking excited about. Here's the master closet. It's a really nice size master closet, but as y'all know, I always have to have my own dressing room because y'all got extra and I got a lot of stuff. So this is actually going to be Mike's entire just closet on his own. Um, I always told him in our old house that the master closet was his, but really half of it was still mine and half of it was his. I mean, I'll probably have some stuff down here. I was not, not gonna lie. Um, you know, like my comfy clothes or whatever. Maybe not here, probably in the dresser or something like that. But um, yeah, I'm excited for him to have this huge closet on his own. Another thing I love is that the toilet is behind this beautiful door so that, you know, privacy. Not that I care all that much or like we're not sque squeamish about that stuff, but you know, when there's toots, you want to keep it in that room. So go on and toot in there and then close the door, you know? The window here we have is an obscure glass so no one can see in. For some reason, the way that they plan like the fence, they had it stopping like where it would not enclose this window. So basically anyone could walk up and you know, be at your bathroom window. Kind of had a little stink about that. They saw reason. So now this, win this window is enclosed in our fence. Um, which is secured. Bring that stuff up y'all. If you guys are doing a new build or something like that, be sure to say something because if you don't ask, you don't know, right? We are now upstairs. So I love that this game room is kind of overlooking the living room so it still feels very open. We have this nice closet. We can put games or storage, so lots of storage space. We have two linen closets up here, which I decided not to get a linen closet downstairs. In hindsight, I'm kind of regretting a little bit, but that's fine. The first kind of corner here is what we call the guest wing. Battery died, so I had to go and charge it. Making our way into the guest wing, the bathrooms upstairs, both of them are of a similar design. The guest bathroom is a little bit smaller than the one over closer to the media room which is kind of funny, but anyway, that's fine. Tile did come standard with this house. However, the tile selection that you got that was standard was not what we were wanting as part of the style in our home. So at first, we were planning on just going with the standard tile because, you know, we don't want to spend more money where we don't necessarily need to, but because none of it matched what the vision was. So Mike didn't go with me to the second final showroom appointment, but I just made an executive decision to change the tile because I kept looking at it. It's not fair for me to let Juicy stare at this, you know, flooring whenever I give her baths and stuff like that and our future children and our guests and stuff like that. They deserve pretty tile <laughs> as well. So anyways, we upgraded the tile down um, upstairs as well. It's different from the one in our master, so this one has more, kind of like these wavy lines, almost looks like the wood tile downstairs, but not really. And this one is a porcelain tile, also by Marazzi. Within this cute arch, there's a linen closet right outside the guest bathroom, so we'll put stuff in there eventually. And so here is the guest bathroom. Also, I forgot to mention that our ceilings up on the second floor are nine foot ceilings. Okay, so now we're going into the guest bedroom. This room we were originally thinking about using for the media room. So y'all know Mike gets a media room, which I get to use as well, obviously, but that's where he plays his video games and whatnot. So this and another room were the only two that had walls where we could put like, you know, the TV and all that other stuff on there. But this bedroom is so special. First of all, it's a nice big size, one of the bigger bedrooms. And we don't do a whole lot in there other than watch TV or play video games, so you don't need a lot of space was one of the things. But I love that there is a window inside the actual closet itself. 
We are now in my dressing room, well, future dressing room because there's nothing in here, but uh, I will link in the cards my other dressing room from our first house. Love the really big windows in this particular room and the wall space and everything just seem perfect for a dressing room. I'm not 100% sure what I want to do and how I want to set it up. It's not going to be exactly the same as my last dressing room. The wall hanging units and stuff like that around. I haven't quite figured it out just yet. All I do know is that I want a nice big like table right here. Kind of like an island but also where I can do my makeup at the same time. I just want to have one island where I do that and maybe have other things on it. But right in front of the really big window because it's so beautiful and so large. We have a lot of storage in this house. So in this room it's just a really big closet for storage. So on the other side of the game room, you have this other archway. This is leading into the media room and then the other bathroom as well. And there is another linen closet out here. So this is going to be Mike's, our media room. He's so kind, he doesn't call it a man cave. Everyone else calls it a man cave, but he's kind enough not to. Media room and the game room. I told Mike he is free to decorate those two rooms as he sees fits. Whatever he wants to do to them, he can do them, I mean, for the most part, obviously. Everything else, like all the living spaces, we are decorating together. Also, obviously, has a closet. And it's a decent sized closet. The final bedroom is a very special bedroom, um, in my opinion. Um, not just from the design perspective, but this is the bedroom that we plan on using for whenever we have a baby. We did write little things here on the actual, what you call it, posts and everything. I love this box window detail with the built-in little shelving. It's just so cute. I am having a little bit of a struggle figuring out what kind of window treatment to put up here, but I love this detail so much. I'm not sure what to do with this room, whether I keep it empty or if I use it as, I was thinking about using it as like a little library room. Whatever free time I do have, I don't sit still enough to read. I listen to audiobooks and stuff, so that might not work out. But uh, it's a really cute room and I like it. What's interesting is the closet in here, which is why I think it's great for a child. The closet, actually, the ceiling is lower than all the other closets and just in general. So it's not a nine foot ceiling, it's got maybe seven foot ceiling, it's really short. AC units above, so they're up there. So that's why it looks that way. But anyways, I think it's cute though because if it is for a smaller human being, then it works out. All right y'all, so that is the empty house tour. I hope y'all enjoyed it and I'm so excited to just get moved in and get settled and then also obviously spend time decorating. There's a lot to do but it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope y'all have enjoyed following us along on our building journey and I'm excited for what's to come in this new home. Anywho, I thank y'all so much for all of your support. We really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to watch some more of how I decorate this house and how we get settled in, be sure to join our study fam because we would love to have you. Enjoy your journey and I'll talk to y'all in my next video.